Oh, hello there. Hi, my name's David. I use they, them pronouns, and I'm here to welcome you back to another session of On the Left Bank, a St. Paul Socialist Lit Mag online poetry reading. I'm very excited to share a couple of the poems from volume two of On the Left Bank, which will be coming out in September. I've got uh, two pieces of poetry, well, one piece of poetry and one piece of prose from my good friend Ben, and if there's time, I hope to read a couple of my own poems as well. Now, let's begin. Rent Stabilization by Benjamin. I rapped at the door. Who is it? I'm trying to stop the landlord from raising the rent. The door swung open. I caught a glimpse of two air mattresses in the living room, which reminded me of how I used to sleep on a mattress in the living room. Rent stabilization? They just raised my rent by $200, or 300 or 400 I even heard 650 I knocked again. Baby, who is it? A child's voice answered. A policeman, mommy. No, I'm not a policeman, I said. Knock, knock. I trespassed into dozens of apartment buildings. Most of the time, the locks were broken on the front door, and nobody stopped me. Now for number two, this is a really beautiful piece of prose uh, by my friend Ben that I appreciate. A Young Man's Winter Reflection. Do you ever wonder what your life will be like? Then watch it all flash before your eyes. Everything planned went not as predicted, yet all was well. My breath clouded in front of me as I stood, watching the snowflakes fall. The yellow light of street lamps illuminated the whiteness before me with an orange glow. I began to walk, and soon the crunch of my feet on the snow was the only sound separating me from my thoughts. My long coat was a hand-me-down left over from my grandfather who passed away a year after I was born. Oh, if he could see me now, what might he think? On the other side of the world from the war-torn Poland he sailed away from, still trudging through the same snow he and I both shoveled nearly a century apart. How did he see his life as a young man? What was it like for him to hold my mother in his arms as I hold my daughter in mine? What was it like to quit smoking cigarettes when he found out they caused cancer? What was it like to sip vodka and play pinochle with his friends? What was it like to experience America through Polish eyes, work as machinist slave, shaping metal and fixing cracks of the New York subway line? What was it like for him to laugh? What was it like for him to die? And how do I honor his legacy? Marching through the winter snow. Hmm. Now, this one is one of mine. Uh, it was inspired by a great piece of art by um, two uh, really excellent uh, non-binary artists over across the pond. So uh, make sure to pick up a copy of the zine if you live in the Twin Cities so you can see the art in person. It's called Gender Outlaw. I knew me. You can't look away. I'm in a cute dress, off the shoulder. I was enjoying the wind tickling my broad shoulders and hairy thick calves, but you're staring. I look back, stand up. We walk to the middle of the main street. Ten paces, spin, draw punk. You break eye contact. Yeah, you better look away. I'm a gender outlaw. I hope this sundress doesn't get me shot. Another grumpy old asshole. Are you jealous or are you fascist? Or you do, do you just think it looks cute? Either way, I'm on edge, trying to decide if I should say something. 
or if that will end with us both reaching for our six guns in the street. It'd be nice to be able to wear a sundress to my neighborhood coffee shop without worrying I'll end up gunned down in the dirt by a pervy old geezer like you. Hmm. And now for something a little lighter. This one is just a late night uh, musing. I tapped out on this typewriter here. Uh, I was thinking about magical thinking and, you know, all the meaning we give things that maybe aren't true. And I thought, why don't I write a little, a little prayer to whoever might be listening? So this is it. It's called Midsummer Beseeching. Keys of plastic, dark of night, gods of love and envy hearts, ancestors, comrades, spirits all, help us build a life of love. A family and a castle and a little village proud, a garden and a workshop, and some urchins meek and loud. An envy's prayer and envy's hope I thus think sing to the wind, and if you chance to hear it, beloved spirits mine, bear it with you to your kingdoms, sing it with me, a loving future, as we dream it, so let it be. Thanks so much for joining us for this session of On the Left Bank. Hope you'll come back next time. Toodles.